much. Who are you? Ask me who I was. <laughs> You're particular for a ghost. Who are you then? In life, I was your partner, Jacob Marley. Can you sit down? I can. We'll do it then. You don't believe in me. I don't. What evidence would you have of my reality beyond that of your own senses? I don't know. Why do you doubt your senses? Because a little thing affects them, a slight disorder of the stomach. <laughs> you might be a bit of bad beef, a blot of mustard, a fragment of an underdone potato. <laughs> There's more of gravy than of grave about you, whatever you are. Humbug, I tell you, humbug. <laughs> Dreadful apparition. Why do you trouble me? Man of the worldly mind, do you believe in me or not? I do, I must. But why do spirits walk the earth? Why do you come to me? It is required of every man that the spirit within him should walk abroad among his fellow men and travel far and wide. And if that spirit goes not forth in life, it is condemned to do so after death. It is doomed to wander through the world and witness what it cannot share, but might have shared, and turn to happiness. <laughs> Chain. Tell me why. I wear the chain I forged in life. I made it link by link and yard by yard. Is its pattern strange to you? Or would you know the weight and length of the strong coil you bear yourself? It was as full, as heavy, and as long as this seven Christmas Eves ago, you have labored on it since. It is a ponderous chain. I see no chain. Mine were invisible until the day of my death. As yours shall be. T tell me more. Speak comfort to me. I have none to give. My spirit never walked beyond our counting house. In life, my spirit never roved beyond the narrow limits of our money-changing hole. No doubt of that. You, you always were a good man of business. Business? Mankind was my business. The common welfare was my business. Charity, mercy, forbearance, and benevolence for all my business. The dealings of my trade were but a drop of water in the comprehensive ocean of my business. I'm sorry for you, Dick. Is there anything I can do for you? For me? Nay, it is too late. But I have come for your sake, Ebenezer. Have you? Well, you always were a good friend. 